This is our one and a half strutter, which we've been building for the last 20 odd years. And it's almost at the stage where we should be taking it off to an airfield for its uh, flight trials, because it was always our intention to build a flying rebuild, if you like, of the, of the original. Built from the original drawing, as far as we can, in accordance with modern aviation regulations and safety. The fuselage is as per drawing. From the firewall forward, because we're not using an original rotary engine, there are changes. We're using a new build, a nine cylinder, 3.6 litre radial engine, a Rotec engine. So from the firewall back, it's a wood framed fuselage uh, braced with piano wire and turnbuckles, just as they did 1916, 1917, which is the date on our drawings. It's not the best known aeroplane in the world, but in many, many ways it's a really significant aeroplane and led to aeroplanes that you will know about, like the Camel and possibly the Pup. Um, the reason that it was uh, important in its day, albeit briefly, it was kind of the Eurofight of its day for a short while, was because it introduced certain things that uh, aircraft at that time couldn't do. Like, for example, it can fire through the arc of the propeller, which the German Fokkers could do, and they were causing havoc. But the British didn't have that. When they started to sort of think about what they needed in 1915, when this was sort of designed, they decided that they needed to fire through the arc of the propeller. Fine, they needed an observer gunner at the back. Also, at the back, there's a sort of silver piston there, and that alters the angle of attack of this entire uh, empennage, as they say. So therefore, you could alter the flight characteristics of the aeroplane as you ran out of petrol, as you ran out of oil, as you ran out of bullets. Being interested in aeroplanes from a very early age, and I seem to have the right skills. I like using my hands, and I was good with wood, and I learned how to use uh, metal. So, they asked me to make a gun. This is a Lewis gun, which was fitted into the rear cockpit here uh, to defend the aircraft from aeroplanes attacking them from behind. I also made a Vickers gun which goes in front of the pilot and it was the first British aeroplane to have an interrupter gear which it stole from the Germans actually because up till then it had been very difficult to target aircraft accurately and the Germans had been shooting us down with their Fokker Eindecker aircraft, which could fire through the propeller. And they used the aeroplane as the sort of aiming device. And it was, of course, extremely accurate. And so in 1916, we were being shot out of the skies uh, by the score. But uh, when we got our uh, device, um, things were evened up a bit more. It was very important. But because it was superseded so quickly, we don't hear about it so much. It's an unusual aeroplane, but it's a significant aeroplane, and it did amazing uh, work on aircraft carriers, which is very, very seldom talked about. Hopefully we'll get it in the air soon, and this, we hope, will be a memorial to those who flew and died defending the shores of Scotland. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to our channel.